Hi Scorpio, this is Eileen with your February 2020 Psychic Tarot card reading. And you're starting the month of February with the Three of Swords card. Three of Swords is talking about betrayal from people that you know. In some cases, this could be a romantic situation, but I'm feeling for a number of Scorpios, if you have this Three of Swords energy in February, that this could also relate to people that have been so-called friends of yours, or maybe people you've worked with that pretended to um, be friends with you when they really were not. And then you have since found out that they had been scheming behind your back, undermining you in some way. Uh, just really jealous of you is what I'm getting. Um, I am feeling you're in the strong position here. And by this time uh, of this Three of Swords energy, if it affects you, you already know what's going on with them. You know, you know the, the thing here. So, um, and you're not amused. It's like you've had enough. You're not even giving them uh, any more of your time now. Now, in some cases, this could relate to a romantic situation. But I'm feeling... Overall, I'm getting more feelings about either co-workers, maybe relatives, maybe neighbors, um, other people that were just generally pretending to be your friend in some shape or form and turned out not to be or acted like they had your best interest at heart when they did not. I'm even feeling like people that you've had possibly working for you in some capacity, like maybe if you have a, a higher position than them at, the, at your job, or maybe you hired people to do some work for you, maybe even at your home or something. Um, I'm getting those kind of scenarios. Now, this is a general reading, so some of these cards may resonate with you, while others do not. If I'm doing a private reading, then I'm just focusing in on your circumstances, and I am reading the meanings of the cards as well as tuning in on a psychic level. All in all, I get that you're in the um, position of strength here, you have a no-nonsense attitude about this situation, like you don't really have any tolerance for these people now. You see where they're coming from, and you're not letting them get away with anything. Uh, you've had enough of that. Next card you have is Ace of Wands. Wands do relate to the fire signs. They relate to action, your career, progress, um, just moving forward. And so what this is talking about is that you may have a lot of additional ambition and enthusiasm in February, getting something off the ground in the way of um, maybe career or business. You may have started a business that you're just going full steam ahead with. This could be at your existing job. You might be getting a promotion or a transfer. Uh, some uh, Scorpios, you might be in sales or something and you're doing well and you're just pushing through. Um, I'm just getting really good, strong energy with this card of take charge. Just, you know, you're on fire. You're just moving forward because you've been doing well. It's some kind of work you know really well. You know what you're doing and you're pushing forward and uh, attracting success to yourself. I feel like you already have been. And so you it's like you know what you're doing and you're just moving forward. So I just get so much good energy with this card, strong energy. And um, next card you have is Nine of Pentacles. This is a great card to have alongside of this Ace of Wands because this is talking about enjoying your success being grateful for all of your prosperity and abundance that you get to enjoy in your life, both small luxuries or big luxuries, and taking the time to appreciate what you have. Because, uh, you know, our world is so busy. A lot of times you're so busy working, 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 that you may not have time to stop and enjoy what you have. Enjoy your abundance and be grateful for all the good you have. And the more you're having an attitude of gratitude and enjoying and celebrating all the good you have in your life, the more you're putting out that kind of energy into the universe. And the universe responds in kind by delivering more things to appreciate and more things to celebrate in your life, whether it's um, working conditions, a nice home, um, friends, real friends, <laughs> not the phony ones we were talking about in that earlier card, um, just good 
good opportunities for you, good things to be grateful for and celebrate. And so this is what this card is talking about in February. And I always advise everyone to learn about the law of attraction because the more you have an attitude of gratitude and the more you're celebrating all the good you have in your life, the more you are attracting good. You're attracting prosperity and abundance to yourselves. But that's what I'm getting, this Ace of Wands. You've got that ambition, that go after what you want energy and determination. I mean, nothing's going to stop you here. And then the Nine of Pentacles, where you're aware you're taking some little pauses here and there and being grateful and looking around yourself and saying, hey, I've got a lot to be appreciative of. Now, next card you have is Two of Swords. Two of Swords. For some, a Scorpio, you might be in a position where you have to make a choice between two people. Or in some cases, it might be two different jobs. You might have two job opportunities and you're trying to figure out which one to take. It's like whether it's two people in your life in the way of friends or romance or even jobs, I feel like it's like they're competing with each other for you. And I do feel there's some relationship matters here. I do feel for a number of Scorpios, this has to do with a personal, like a romantic involvement where there's one person who's already been around you and there's someone else kind of making themselves available who suddenly shows up. Or maybe they've been there like in a smaller capacity, but they're trying to kind of get their foot in the door a little better. And you're not sure what you should do. Now, the advice of this card, you see she's got the blindfold on. I mean, uh, you have to take the blindfold off, step back, look at your life, look at your circumstances objectively and make the best decision for you that's good for your life. And don't let either of these people do any kind of a sales job on you for your attention. Now, in some cases, this is even friends. You might have two friends who are competing for your attention also. And then... I feel like one of them has been around you, whether it's a romantic partner, a friendship, or some other scenario in business. It might be some business scenario where one of them has been in there stronger with you and they're trying to keep you together. They're trying not to let this other person or situation interfere. And I, I tend to feel like the other person or situation is not as serious about you also. That's what I feel like. That the one that's already been around you is more serious. They identify with you better. And they really are looking out more. Um, you know, they're looking out for themselves. But they just look and feel stronger. Like it's a stronger presence. And the other one is kind of hopeful, but they may not have much follow through. They might not have really good follow through. But it's a decision for you to make for your life by being as objective as you can. Okay, next card you have is the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, and the Wands do relate to the fire signs. They relate to uh, work, career, action, progress. Nine of Wands is saying that you might be getting exhausted in February for all of your hard work you're doing. For some Scorpios, you might just be working long hours at your jobs, or you might have two jobs you're working. You might be working and going to school, or you might just be working hard at your job. Then you go home and you got work to do at home for your family, your household. And the advice of this card is to, again, step back, look at your circumstances objectively, see if it's possible to delegate some of your work, some of your responsibilities to others, whether it's in the workplace or at home. You are very strong. You're going to get through this because you've been down this road before. This is nothing new for you. You're accustomed to working really hard, putting in long hours. Matter of fact, I'm feeling that a lot of people have come just to expect this of you because you have been, you've kept so much on your shoulders. You know, you've carried so much on your shoulders and not really complain about it. It's like you just take on these responsibilities, like these are your responsibilities and you're doing them. And so there's a lot of people around you who have just come to expect it. 
you know, whether it's in your workplace, at home, whatever it is, they're so accustomed to you being that strong character who's just taking on these responsibilities, getting this work done, that they just, you know, they may not be working quite as hard as you, or maybe in some cases they are, but a lot of times they're not. And um, they just, I mean, you're the one who has to make the decision that's best for you. It's like no one's going to step in and, and balance things out and say, hey, here, let me take some of those burdens off your shoulders. That's why you have to really look objectively at your circumstances, make good decisions for yourself because you're in it for the long haul. You know, you need to be able to have some balance. You need to be able to catch up on your rest, have some recreation, have some fun, enjoy your life along the way, like we were talking about here with the Nine of Pentacles. So um, that's something for you to think about, whoever is affected by this Nine of Wands energy. Next card you have is Two of Cups. This is a nice card. And you've got the Three of Cups right alongside of it, too. Two of Cups is telling me that for some Scorpios, February is the month for you to be crossing paths with that person from a previous lifetime that you're supposed to cross paths with again in this lifetime. This will turn out to be a long-term true love situation. You may already be with this person now. OK, so some Scorpios, you might already have this person in your life. You might be involved romantically. You might be close friends. You might even be working together. For others, you will cross paths with this person if the timing is right. Now, I'm feeling this energy is pretty strong. I feel like this person is circulating around you. And there's a good chance in February you could cross paths with them. Possibly it might be March or April even because it's a strong energy I'm getting with this uh, past life relationship this will truly be a good solid love relationship partnership like an equal partnership with this person the two of you might even have some kind of business together you might already be in business together if you're with this person now working together somehow and or if you meet this person around February, March, the two of you might start a business together. And what I'm seeing here, if you are in some kind of business together, plus you're involved romantically, it works. It works really well. For some people, maybe it wouldn't. They get tired of being around each other too much. For you two, it works really well because you wouldn't trust anyone else in this business that's what i'm feeling like you're so close and so connected that neither of you would want another partner whether in business or personal it's just everything is just right i mean it's a really good situation so again it's timing some people it's the right time others maybe not yet but if you are single and looking just be open um what i'm getting is that you and the other person you cross paths with, if the time is right for you in February, both of you are in the right place at the right time. You've already been through all the hell and whatever other stuff you're supposed to go through and relationships and ups and downs and challenges. And it's just time. Both of you are out in the open now and it's time to gravitate. So again, it is a matter of timing. So it's not going to be for everybody. Next card you have is Three of Cups. Three of Cups is talking about celebrating, celebrating your life, celebrating whatever romance you might have going on, or just celebrating with your friends, family, having some fun, enjoying your life, being in a celebratory mood in February. Some Scorpios, I feel like you are going to be in a fun, uplifting, romantic relationship in February. And so whether you're with your friends or uh, family, wherever, you're just going to be feeling more uplifted and enjoying yourself more. I feel like for some Scorpios, you might not be in a romantic relationship, but you're feeling good about who you are and where you've come to in your life and uh, how your life is going and your plans and your dreams and goals for your future. And so you're uplifted, you're enthusiastic, and, and it's right under this Ace of Wands. You've got the Nine of the Pentacles there. Uh, you've got nice cards around this card, too. So uh, it's just, and it's good to celebrate. It's good to celebrate your life. Be happy for all that you have. Um, take things lightly sometime and just be lighthearted because... The more you're in that kind of frame of mind and feeling joyful, you attract miracles to yourself. You, you attract good things from the universe when you're in a heavy 
mood and sad or depressed or worried or scared, you attract negative things. So the more you can be uplifted and lighthearted and grateful and just acknowledge all the good you have in your life and celebrate your life, the more you're going to be attracting good into your life. Next card you have is the Emperor. This is a major Arcana Destiny card. Emperor is saying for a number of you Scorpios, you're going to be in a strong position of authority in the month of February with your life. Now, you might be in a high position in your job, your work. You might be self-employed or you might not be. However, you're going to be within yourself in a strong place where you're making good, solid decisions about your life, about where you're going, what you want, where you've been. And for a number of you, again, you're going to be feeling a certain amount of prosperity. And you've got it right underneath the nine of pentacles here, prosperity. This is a card of success. It's a card of taking charge and being in control of your own life. And who doesn't want to be in control of their own life? I mean, that's uh, what everybody should aspire to be. No one wants to feel like other people are controlling their lives. And this is what this card is about, being in that strong, take charge position where you're able to look out at the big picture and make good, sound decisions and where you're enjoying your success. Now, for some Scorpios, this could even represent a person around you in February. It could be someone that you work for, somebody that uh, you're applying to, for a job with. I do feel like if this is a person around you, you could benefit from this person. So you could benefit a lot. This could be, let's say if you're in sales or something, this could be like a new client who's very successful that you could benefit a lot from. Um, or if it's a company you're working for, um, you know, if you get this person's positive attention, you could really be elevated in your company. Or if you're applying for a job to this person, I'm just getting real strong energy that if you're not in the shoes of the emperor in February, this could be someone that you can really benefit from. I'm also feeling for some Scorpios, this emperor could be a male in the way of a um, romantic partner for you. It could be someone already in your life or someone I'm feeling it's a new relationship for some of you. This could be someone you get into a new romantic relationship with. And this person would be a really good mate to have because they're just, they look at things in a serious way that they don't play games with people. And so for some Scorpios, this could be someone you get into a romantic relationship with in February. And um, this person, they're not just playing around. So if they, if they started dating you, they'd be thinking about the future. You know, is this going to be my partner for the future? I mean, that's what they're looking at. They're looking at things being really good quality in their life in the way of relationship and everything else. Uh, so that's a good card all the way around. Next card you have a Six of Cups. And every time I see this, look at that kitty. That's a telepathic kitty. That kitty's always looking at me. The Six of Cups card is about someone or something from your past coming back that brings happiness for you. Now, in some cases, this could be a friend you haven't seen in a long time or a relative. But it could also be someone that turns into a romantic partner for you as well. It could be somebody you've been friends with for a long time, haven't seen that person maybe, and then all of a sudden you're around them and things start looking a little more romantic, like you're hanging out together and talking and laughing and um, almost like you both start wondering about the other one, you know. I feel like especially you, you might be more aware of something like, hey, you know, I never paid that much attention to this person before, but I'm starting to look at them in a different way now. Uh, for some people, this Six of Cups could represent some kind of work or business that you've had in the past that kind of fell by the wayside, and now it gets revived again. Maybe you have another opportunity to do that type of work or to work for that company, or maybe it's a business that you started in the past and it kind of fell off and then you start reviving it and it comes back strong. Whatever it is, whether it's a relationship or work, business, some creative enterprise, it brings you joy to your heart. It brings you happiness. It brings you enthusiasm about your life. 
uh, it just it's like uh, it's just a new beginning for you that's what I'm getting here a lot really nice energy with this card last card you have is the five of swords five of swords this is somebody who will be trying to cheat you by the end of February if you have this energy around you this is a very dishonest person they pretend they've got it all together they put up a big facade and act like they have plenty of their own that they don't wouldn't need to take anything or steal anything from somebody else but the truth is it's just a big show a big they're phony uh, but you might realize this by the end of February if this person's been around you this could be in the workplace. It could be somebody trying to steal your ideas. Someone who, um, you know what's just coming to me? Be careful about sharing your ideas or plans with someone who might be able to take advantage of that in some way. Um, use it to their advantage. Um, I'll give an example. Let's say you're in your workplace and you've got some new ideas you want to work on for a project that should get you recognized at work. Don't share your ideas unless you need to because it's a supervisor or somebody, you know, that you need to share them with. Um, because I'm feeling in the workplace, that's what I'm getting kind of strong for some Scorpios, that you could have people around you wanting to steal your ideas or take credit for your work i'm just getting things like that so be really on the lookout by the end of february for that kind of person around you and i'm feeling like you might already recognize this person whoever has this five of swords energy now this could also represent someone in a personal relationship a romantic relationship where this person has been very dishonest and um you know they might cheat and steal i'm getting stealing too though so be careful anybody you might have come to your house maybe to do work or if you don't know somebody very well or whatever um, this person's just dishonest, and it's almost like they feel entitled. Kind of like, well, you have all this, so, you know, they're into, it's okay somehow to take something from you because they see you as doing fine, like you won't miss it, or uh, something. Of, uh, they find this way of rationalizing being dishonest to people in one way or another, like to make it okay for themselves. They, this person's been this way for a long time. So uh, just be on the lookout. Like I said, it's a general reading. Some cards may resonate. Others do not. Okay, now this deck I've been using, this is the Gilded Tarot by Shiro Marchetti. And what I want to do now is pick one card from the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck. So Mermaids and Dolphins, what is your message for Scorpio for February 2020? What's your message for Scorpio for February 2020? If you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. So you'll be notified when I post new videos. Also, check your rising and moon signs in case something resonates with you in those. And if you're going on the cusp of another sign, you might want to check those videos if you identify with those traits of that sign to see if something resonates. Feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. If anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. Okay, so... Let me fan these out. Okay, Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, what is your message for Scorpio? Oh, I like this. Okay. This says, yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. Okay, I feel like that's going to resonate with some of you for sure. Yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. And Scorpios are very intuitive. Anyway, my moon is in Scorpio. So, okay, let's see. Next, I'm going to pick one card from the um, Spirit Animal Oracle deck. So, Spirit Animals by Colette Baron reed Spirit Animals, what is your message for Scorpio for February? What's your message for Scorpio spirit animals for February. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fan these out. Okay, what's your message for? And these cards kind of stick together too. Let's see. Okay, this is pig spirit 
Use your mind wisely. Well, pigs are known to be very, very intelligent creatures. And I think a lot of people who don't understand animals don't give them the credit that they should have. But they're known to be extremely intelligent. Okay, pig spirit, use your mind wisely. So you got your intuition going on for you. And using your mind wisely, I think that ties in in this reading with some of these um, cards about stepping back and looking at your circumstances to make good decisions for yourself. And then last but not least, I'll pick one card from uh, Messages from Your Angels by Doreen Virtue. So, Angels, what is your message for Scorpio for February 2020? What's your message for Scorpio, February 2020? Okay, let me fan these out. Okay. All right, let's see. This is Angel Shanti. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. I like that. Angel Shanti. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Okay. We could all use a smoother road ahead. So that's good news to end on. All right, Scorpio. Well, thank you for watching my video. I hope you're happy with your reading. Be sure to check your rising moon signs. Feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. If anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. And please um, wish goodwill and say your prayers for Australia and all those beautiful animals. Over a billion animals have died in those fires. Um, I got so distraught watching videos and keeping up with it that I haven't watched anything in several days now. So I don't know if the fires are more under control. I hope they are. I had seen some reports about rain. Pray for rain. If you can, make a little donation to one of those organizations in Australia. There's so many organizations trying to help the animals, the little koalas and the kangaroos. And uh, they have a, a lot of different kinds of animals. I mean, they all... They all matter. And uh, just picture, picture rain, picture them having a renewal and, and healing because they have a lot. It's, it's been overwhelming. It's been a, a really tragedy for them. Anyway, thank you. And uh, we'll talk again soon. Happy February and happy Valentine's Day if you celebrate Valentine's, Scorpio.